is episode four of Behind the Muse season five. And I am going to show you how to properly wash your face. I know a lot of people be like, oh, I know how to wash my face. No, you probably don't. If after you wash your face, you have and you go over your face with toner and you have any kind of residue on your on your cotton pad you didn't wash your face correctly so i'm going to show you today how to properly wash your face using the msc glyco go system okay all right let's first get into step one all right step one is the double cleanse what is a double cleanse a double cleanse is led usually by an oil-based cleanser it doesn't mean that it's oil Okay, not all oils make your skin oily, but some oils create something called saponification, which is cleanliness through oil. Like oil can actually, um, it, it can it, it can create a lather. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is do our double cleanse. All right, and the first step in our double cleanse is the pre cleanse with our oil based product. And I'm using none other than the MSC Meissler water, okay, with coconut oil. This is a vegan plant-based coconut oil Meissler water. It's great for eye makeup removal because you're going to see all this great makeup come off that Melly did, okay? So I like to do my eyes and my lips first. I usually use my MSC makeup remover pads, but I'm going to use my Meissler water. So I start with my eyes first. Okay, you see how it just melts my lashes off, right? Okay, you guys, y'all about to see the real me? I'm not ashamed. Look at them. And these are MSC lashes, so I'm going to be reusing those. So I like to get all my eye makeup off first because I don't like to do my eyes last because of the glands in our eyes we can get infections in our eyes easy so it's very important to do your eye makeup first look at all that that i took off my eyes okay now let's do the rest of our face don't be ashamed of what you see come off in that cotton you're getting yourself together i'm melting okay i'm taking it all off but it's really important especially when you're wearing makeup even if you're not wearing makeup it's really important to put in place a good skincare regimen because we have toxins we live in this world i don't know if you remember last summer especially in the michigan area michigan and new york the air quality sucked it was so many pollutants out all that, you know where that settles? All that stuff, all that carbon monoxide, all that garbage from them fires that all settles on your skin, okay? So it's really important to get a good skincare regimen, okay? Look how much I got off, okay? That is crazy. That's what I got off with a couple pumps. All right, let's go into our first cleanse, okay? Now, the first cleanse... And I'm sorry, let's go into the second cleanse because our micellar water was our pre-cleanse. I'm going to use the MSC Glycolic Acid Cleanser. I have acne-prone, oily skin, and I'm also pushing 40. This will keep my skin glowing, healthy, prevent breakouts, and keep me young. Well, I'm young already. It just keeps me looking young. I do about three or four lathers. You want to do about a quarter size of your cleanser. I don't like using hot water to wash, but more like warm water. And I'll tell you why. Because hot water dilates our pores. And if you don't properly constrict your pores, it's gonna fill back up with stuff. So in an upward motion, I wash my face. And it's really important to wash your face for at least two minutes. If you're in a rush, a good one minute is good, but I like two minutes. You got to get right on that hairline. You got to get right up in there. In those little areas and those little crevices. And if you feel like your lather is going down, rewatch your hands and just keep it going. Okay, so you want to wash your face at least two minutes. Because you want the product, the ingredients in the product to really saturate your skin. I work in an upward, upward motion. And hey, 
I got on a lot of makeup, so I'm probably going to do a third wash. It's really, really important to make sure you remove all makeup, okay? Because makeup doesn't break you out. Old makeup stuck in your skin, stuck in your pores from last week will break you out, okay? So I still use an old school washcloth because I like the exfoliating properties of an old school tearing cloth. Okay, but it's important to have a clean cloth. What I suggest is buying multiple washcloths and changing them every day. Yeah, you're gonna have to do some laundry, but at least you're saving the planet. Okay. Dokey. All right. Now that we cleansed everything, it's time to treat our skin and to make sure we get any residue left over from soap, scum, and that sort of thing. So next, I'm going to use the Glycolic Exfoliating Toner. Now, if you have sensitive skin or your skin is super dry, you can use the micellar water as your toner, but don't skip on the toner. Toner actually helps with hydration. It helps pick up any leftover soap scum and is a part of your nutrition for your skin. Okay, so I'm going to do the glycolic exfoliating toner. I do this toner every day. Okay, my skin is more resilient when you have acne, oily prone skin is more resilient. Now, I put on a couple pump pumps, but don't forget to apply in an upward motion. We want everything to go up. Remember, up, up, up. Ooh, it's prickly. It's the salicylic and glycolic acid together. And it is definitely doing something for a show. I'm going to show you guys my cotton. You see there's nothing on there. Okay, nothing. Nope, because my face is actually clean. Clean. Your face should be clean when it comes to this third step. Okay, and sometimes people, you know, they go over with their toner and they be like, "Oh, I see a little bit of stuff. That's okay. I got it." Nope. If you go over with your toner and you see any kind of residue on your toner, toner on, on your cotton swab, you didn't properly cleanse your face. Okay. So, and I just had on. Look, this is what I had on as far as cut makeup and then this is what my cotton swab looks like use these as a determination if your face is clean we do want to save the planet but we we still need some cotton swabs all right now this is something that I, I i do after my toner i take ice cold water i douse my face in ice cold water to constrict our pores but i'm going to move on to the next step the next step is moisturizing with the MSC Action C Moisturizer. You see, I've been using it, y'all. Okay? And vitamin C, it this it protects the skin um, barrier. It also um, helps get rid of hyperpigmentation, evens out skin tone. It's great for men and women. It's lightweight. It's oil-free. It's a supercharged antioxidant moisturizer. So I put this on because not only do I want to hydrate my skin, but I want to nourish my skin with the vitamin C. And then I have a history of acne, so I also want to treat old acne scars. And remember, upward, you guys, upward. Be gentle with your skin. Don't go rubbing your moisturizer in as if you were moisturizing your face. Be very gentle, and when you get under your eyes, try to use your ring finger, okay? 
The ring finger puts less pressure on your face than your index finger. Alrighty. So we let that absorb. It smells really good and citrusy. I like that. It's vegan and plant-based. Now, this is my favorite sunscreen. It's called Skin Aqua Sun Play. It's a Japanese sunscreen. It's a UV um, moisture gel. It's a SPF 50. Um, there's not many words in English, but it's amazing. And the reason why I like this is available on Amazon. I used to sell it, but I can't get it anywhere. You see how I use this? I like this because you don't need a lot and it doesn't leave a white cast on your face. Okay, so we're going to put this on. And with melanated skin, the sun is a bleaching and it causes hyperpigmentation. This will prevent that. Do I look like I have a white cast on my face? No. Nope. Mm -mm. All of this is safe and it's non-toxic. Okay. I hope you guys were able to learn how to properly wash your face. Don't forget to pre-cleanse. Don't forget to wash for more than a minute when you do your actual second cleanse. And guys, don't forget, I'm always here for you. Comment below. If you have any questions, reach out at info, info at musemob.com and tune in next Wednesday for another episode of Behind the Muse.